What's up guys, it's Richard Tiger here. And today I'm gonna show you one of the best heroes to get for on and off spenders. On and off spenders are like someone looking to spend something like five dollars and then like twenty dollars and that's that would just be it. So the best heroes to get is Will Weaver. Songstress and Berserker. That's all because they they give the same boost: army HP, army defense, and army attack. This spreads out everything to your armory. I mean your army, because it doesn't give a boost to only one troop type. It gives them to all of them. I'll be spending your money the best unless, but if you're like heavy something or want to go heavy, then you get one for that troop type. But if you're on an off spender, luckily not that low, not like probably mixed. But yeah, probably a mixed on off spender. Get Laura Weaver, Strong Sis, and Berserker. The best heroes, pretty much. Um, another tips are for gold. If you're a person, if you're a person that needs gold for research, always go in the cargo ship and do the trades. So say you see the one where I, where it says it's changed already. So imagine I have like one point four because I don't remember what it's offered before. So imagine I have one point four. For to get 2.8 million gold, that's that's a good trade. Do that. I always do those types of trades to get more on top, more for what you spend. Um. Second way is by going over here, going down, and always putting these boosts on. Don't need to worry about food protection because that gives you nothing. <clears throat> And you can always use Gatter Boost for going out to gather gold as well. Um, next is forging equipment to get gold. Go down here, put on gold protection rate. Okay, filters everything out. Um, get everything that fits to you. Everything that fits your standard. What I go with is uh, Helm of Conquest, the Lightning Guard, the Orban Toe Guard, the Griffin's Talon, and the Ancient Hourglass. Everything except. No. The things that I don't think are free to play is Lightning Guard and the Talon because they need. Oh, wait. Oh, they are free to play then. Alright, well, the only thing that isn't really free to play is the Lightning Guard because it needs the Lightning Veil, which are rare materials, super rare materials. And pretty much you have to buy a pack to get them. I really doubt that you'll be able to get a high level one from just Monster Hunting or whatever. So. That's free play. Griffin Talon. I got it all the way up to purple, so I get 22.5. Then I got a gold ancient hourglass and a purple ancient hourglass. This is a gold one. This is a purple one. Gold 22.5. Purple 13.95. I got these purple as well. As gold, there's 16. I'm gonna try to get them gold. Um, Lightning Guard, if you're if you're paid to win watching this video, then this will be a, a big boost, 50 percent. But I only got the, the, but I only got two. Um, green. So this is what I have for it. 
blue is kind of hard to get. Yeah. I can only forge one green, and I need like two more to get at least one blue lightning vial. So that's going to be pretty hard to do. So that's a rocket green one right now. And I got this gold, and that gives you 26.5. I think that's the biggest boost. It should be a biggest boost out of the ones I have. Yeah. Well, the ancient uh, glass and the purple one like, together are bigger, but that's for its own. It has 26, so that's pretty big. Um, not much else to tell you guys. Gathering is pretty much common sense, but yeah. I don't see too many people putting on boost. Because I didn't do that first. I just I never really went all the way down here. So I have some boosts stored up. I have 42 gold boosts, so yeah. You should be able to get those easily. And um Yeah guys. Wait. Hmm. At least upkeep. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.